Boris Johnson's new slogan in the fight against coronavirus is unveiled, but it's been branded vague by critics. It comes ahead of the Prime Minister's address in just half an hour's time, when Boris Johnson will reveal his roadmap to easing the lockdown. Also this evening... Good evening. The government has revealed a new slogan ahead of the Prime Minister's broadcast to the country in half an hour's time. It asks everyone to stay alert, control the virus and save lives. But it's coming for considerable criticism from those who say it is unclear what it means and from the leaders of the devolved administrations, all of whom say they are sticking with the previous stay-at-home message. Nicola Sturgeon asked for the new slogan not to be used in Scotland as she announced there would be only one change to lockdown measures there, a loosening of the restriction on outdoor exercise. Well, meanwhile, another 269 people have tragically died with the virus, which is the lowest number recorded since the end of March. All eyes are now on number 10 to hear what elements of the lockdown Boris Johnson will lift as a result of that flattened curve. Here's our political correspondent, Carl Dinham. So, as we've heard, the only major change to the lockdown in Scotland from tomorrow will be a bit more freedom to exercise while Scotland correspondent Peter Smith is in... Rumours and reports of what Boris Johnson might announce tonight have been swirling for days. And while some might have been relieved that the lockdown in England will finally be somehow altered, many businesses and families say they have concerns and hopes about what might be coming next. Chloe Keady reports. The government has admitted sending 50,000 coronavirus tests to a lab in the United States for analysis. The Dep now, last night we reported on overcrowding in parks. We mistakenly showed a photo of London Fields Park in Hackney that had been taken at an earlier date before the coronavirus lockdown, not yesterday. Well, there can hardly be a person in Britain who hasn't been affected by the coronavirus in some way, but for some, it's one disaster straight on the heels of another. After the Calder Valley in West Yorkshire was devastated by floods back in February, businesses there raced to reopen, only to be forced to close again almost immediately by COVID-19, as Damon Green reports. And finally, Captain Tom Moore is set to be honoured with the freedom of the City of London in the ceremony that will be conducted virtually for the first time. Captain Tom Before we go, a reminder that after we hear from the Prime Minister tonight, you can ask any questions you have about changes to the lockdown. We'll try to answer them tomorrow evening at eight on Coronavirus Q&A. And that's it. I'm back with the late news at a quarter past ten. Until then, enjoy your evening and take care.